sense? Blow up. You have a big ass. No, 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 sir. Not, not big. I was just wondering. Sokolov is testing elixirs on people to cure the plague. Why is it he always asks for help with citizens? Obviously, it's because the ones already sick with the plague don't live long enough to be I now turn my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which in conjunction with a high heat therapy, which came to me most vividly in a dream last night, has great potential according to the latest celestial alignment. As for test subject 312, after the characteristic slothing of the skin, she should be dead by mid-morning tomorrow. Sokolov here. Excellent progress today. Test subject 312 is declining rapidly. As I theorized, formulas 12 and 17, administered in combination, greatly accelerated the progression of the disease. Interestingly, the respiratory mucosa had erupted and raised pustules, grayish in color, which burst, causing hemorrhaging, and pain. I now turn my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which, in conjunction with a high heat therapy... What is this? Thank you, whoever you are. He kept me in a cage, like an animal. Pain is horrible right now. So I'll just hide in a corner and leave when I'm feeling better.
squad after what happened last night? Yes, of course. <laughs> hey, don't you owe me a drink? You're such a chop. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Indeed, I believe so. himself. You made a neat job of it. Drop him here and we'll be off. Set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. 
Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Normally, I'm a natural philosopher, but today, consider me a humble craftsman here to serve. Please be as quiet as you can. It took forever for Emily to fall asleep. Poor dear. It's okay, Emily, I'm here. She seems happier when you're here. Though I know you have important things to do. Out there, in the city. by the wrong end and pretend it's a sword. Then suddenly she changes and she's all manners, asking for a tea party. I tried to oblige her, but I have little to work with. No proper plates instead of a cloth napkin. I've only the bar rack. Ale mugs instead of teacups. I've asked for things befitting her, but they have their minds on other things. For now, Emily and I decided to make a pretend dinner using paper and little things she's found here and there. On the floor, I suppose. Not right for a princess, but it'll have to do.
you were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The Ascendancy Circle has chosen Teague Martin to be High Overseer. Let us all praise their choice. The dance of investiture will take place without delay. The renovation of Caldwin's Bridge will be delayed indefinitely. Until then, citizens cross at their own risk. I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers, shaped like snowflakes. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. I realize, well, everything you're thinking I already realize. I'm a natural philosopher, but that doesn't mean I'm not a gentleman, or I try to be one. You require my unique services? We can quickly return to my shop. summarily punished by officers of the watch. Display your pride in Dunwall by respecting the property and rights of others in these trying times and preserving the timeless beauty of our fair city. I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just me this time. Royal Physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Brandy. I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. I can tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate? Tonight? The timing is perfect with Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? He's right. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the ground. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out, in whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. If you do this tonight, we'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself, and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I 
I swear I never saw her face. Although I can vouch that her hindquarters are the finest in the city, and perhaps the Empire itself. Mm. I hear you're off to the boils, little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. Sea battle? Of course. Did you ever see pirates? And did you sink me? Of course. Dozens. Oh, yes. But that's not for young girls to hear about. But I will be Empress, won't I? And then I'll have to sink lots of enemy ships myself. And that's what Empresses do mostly, isn't it? Of course. I knew it! I read that some pirate ships have witches aboard that can cause storms and make whales do what they want. Is that true? Yes. Uh, mostly. Maybe we should be quiet now. Very well. Everything was so fancy at the Golden Cat, but in a different way than the palace was fancy. The old Madame Prudence said that all the ladies are princesses and the men come to admire them. <laughs> <laughs> 